Well, I blocked too. Oh, look at that! I got him in the knee. What a scumbag maneuver. <laughs> got him right in the stomach too. Oh my god, dude! I'm such a I'm such a dirty fighter. I keep aiming low. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Swords and Sandals Five Redux. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon. We've covered plenty of Gladiator games in the past on the channel, stuff like Domina, Gladiator School, etc., etc. I think there was like also Age of Gladiators, which is really, really fun. But a lot of you guys have asked me to check out the Swords and Sandals series, so I looked into it. There's a lot of these releases, so I kind of picked the latest one, and this is the one right here. This released on Steam a couple of days ago, as a matter of fact, so it kind of worked out just fine. And um, if you guys enjoy this, want to see a bit more of it on the channel, let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a thumbs up. But we can indeed do that. Otherwise, we'll just do this video here. I will have all the information down below in case you want to pick this up for yourself. Um, this costs like $5, so it's really cheap, and hopefully it's fun. Uh, let's go into normal difficulty here. And we need a name. Somebody's talking in the background, too. This game might have voices, which is kind of really weird for a web browser game, but sure. Um, my name's going to be, obviously, the old... Falcon 6-9er, baby, because you know how we do. Let's continue. Um, after many days, you have arrived to the frontier city of Soul's Gateway. You have sought out the Luddis and hope to be trained as a gladiator under legendary trainer Reg the Hammer. Do you wish to tell the tale of your life thus far? Uh, no. I'm going to go ahead and just skip all that and make my own character for my own liking. We have a priest. Okay, we have a knight. Melee and magic. We have a warrior. Wizard and a rogue. I like rogues. Let's do a knight. Melee and a little bit of magic, too. I guess it'll probably be the closest thing to, like, a, a crusader-type class. And I like crusaders, man. Oh, now I get to make my own guy. Alrighty, so what's hometown all about? Um, it gives me my, my little passive skill. So this will give me plus five max HP, which is not bad. Especially for a crusader-type class, right? We might actually go with that one. What, what is that? What, what, what class was that? The Gontarion? Yeah. You know, I'll, I'll be the blue guy. Why not? I'll be Hardy. Yeah. So let's go back. Features, what about... Oh my god, I got a monocle. What am I, Mr. Peanut or what? I got a scar? Yo, yo, give me the monocle, dude. Especially with that mustache, we gotta keep that monocle. Green hair, blue skin, this is amazing. Mohawk, afro, what else do we got here? Flat top. Oh, we got like the Vegeta haircut, like I'm a Saiyan or something. Oh, I gotta go with Guile. Green hair Guile with a mustache. This is amazing. Alrighty. And, um, no, I'm keeping that beard. This is good. This is what I want. Alrighty, so this will be Reg the Hammer. Knight! That's right, you! The Gontarian! Get over here, I would have a word. I wish to trade as a gladiator, sir. Gladiatorial combat is tough. So is dungeoneering. You're going to spend most of your time fighting, either in the various arenas around town, or in the dungeons. It's good to know a few handy tricks that might save your life. First up, let's see how you fare against the battle dummy. Don't worry, it is made of wood. It won't fight back. <laughs> well, sometimes wood fights you back, baby, let me just tell you. You wake up one morning and you, you know what I'm saying, right? So, let's see here. This is my dude, I'm finding a, indeed a wooden battle dummy. So, okay, there's a lot to kind of digest here. This is to move back, move forward. Move forward, what the hell is this? Jump, attack, scream, sleep. Okay, this will probably get stamina back. Is this stamina or is that magic? That's HP. I don't know. Well, let's move forward, I guess. <laughs> like a little slide over? Yeah! Okay. And then we... Oh, yeah. So we did 12 damage, but he didn't lost nothing. So I guess he had like some body armor happening. Oh, there we go. There we go. He's in a 37 now. He's dead now. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Well, I mean, technically he was dead already. Or he, he never really had life to begin with because he's a wooden dummy. You know what I mean? A fine effort. You made short work of that battle dummy. You have taken your first steps towards being a gladiator. So what happens now? You're done training here, but you're not ready to enter any dungeons yet. Here is some gold, a token of good faith from us here at the Lotus. I want you to go visit a few friends of mine, Huntley the Armorer, and Ironhawk the Weaponsmith, and arm yourself. Then head to the battle pits, I want to see how you fight against another new recruit. This shouldn't be too tough. The other recruit has shown very little aptitude for fighting. Oh, thanks, you're giving me a wimp, huh? Alrighty. At your command, Doctore. You see, the game randomly talks at you. It's kind of weird. So, cool. Let's go get ourselves uh, equipped. 
Shops it is. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I got 500 gold. Um, so this will be helmets, breastplates, shoulder guards. Okay, I got you. So let me get the the noob loincloth. Sure, I'll buy that. And let me get myself maybe a buckler. That's very good too. And 174 left over. I already have a dagger, right? Let's just go with more armor. Let me get that new bandana too, dog. So, you must be the new gladiator in town. Reg mentioned you. To be honest, I thought you'd be bigger. I am Oblique, master of the battle pits. Head into the gate over there when you are ready to fight. Uh, I'm ready for the dead match. Okay, so this will be our very first fight here. We have a relatively similar power score, it does seem. But he has a lot less HP. I'm gonna actually kill this man right now. He's 4'9"? Man, you're small. <laughs> oh boy. Enter arena. Let's go for it. I actually dated a girl that was like... 4'10"? Or something? Like, she was really small. And I felt kind of bad about making fun of her height. And I stopped. That's my story. Oh my god, this guy just jumped behind me. Alrighty, so let's, uh, you're, you're here in front of me? Well, let's go ahead and slashy slashy. You blocked. Well, I blocked too. Oh, look at that! I got him in the knee! What a scumbag maneuver. <laughs> got him right in the stomach too. Oh my god! Dude, I'm such a, I'm such a dirty fighter. I keep aiming low. And apparently in that one, I aim right at the neck. You know what? I don't like being made a good guy initially, so... No mercy, baby! This is the battle pits after all. Oh, good god, what did I remove from his body? It was two of something. Maybe it was his testicles or something. I kept on aiming low, so maybe that's what I wanted to do the entire time. You defeated Boros. You did not show mercy. So I gave... I got 500 gold pieces. And... Okay, I guess that's cool. We're fine here. Um, exit battle. Oh! You have risen to Gladiator level 2. Your new rank is, uh, Gladi... Sorsum. You grow more powerful. Tap the orbs to add stats to your gladiator. Because we have two stat points to give away here. Um, what do they all do? It's a very good question. So that's everything they do right here. All right, let me see what this does, and I'll get back to you guys here really quickly. Alrighty, so taking a look at that, I'm going to go with maybe one into attack, because this gives me a higher chance to hit my targets. And I think, like, being able to hit your targets is, like, one of the most important things. So we'll go with that one, and we'll also do, um, I'm thinking maybe either two of those, or... Drop a bit more into strength as well for more damage. But then again, I'm more of a tanky class, so maybe more vitality. Eh, let's just go with more damage. That's good. I'm done. Warf Warfare, Arcane, or Survival. Choose a school to learn new skills from. My god, I'll be honest with you, this game's actually up more in depth than I ever thought it would be. Okay, so now we have special attacks too. Uh, I already have Mighty Smash apparently, so I could continue adding to that. Increase maximum hit points by 4%. That's if I want to go with the warrior stuff. So this will be Rogue, Locksmith, Traps Expert, Master Chef, Hearts of Luminous. Wowee. But I'm going to be using probably some magic too because I'm going to go like kind of Crusader. Tough as nails sounds pretty good. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. You grow more powerful. I know. So I've, um, I've, I've won. I guess we go back to Homeboy now, huh? Lettuce. Have you won the death match at the Battle Beats yet? Indeed I have, an easy victory actually. Quest complete. I got Torch, Torch, Roast Chicken, Lockpick, Key, Bomb, Jade Stone, and 100 experience. Very good. You fought well out there. Death matches can be fatal, but I see that you have the eye of the tiger in you. I'm like Rocky, baby. I think you're ready to explore a little further. Over to the west of here, across the mighty bridge, you'll find a large gateway. This is the entrance to the Hypogeum. Uh, what lies within, Doctore? The Hypogeum was once used as a construction network to build the arena. The upper levels are still in use by the engineers, but below it is just a house to the dead. I don't want you to venture too deep, Falcon 69, but I do have a task for you down there. Of course you do. I was in the bad houses the other day talking with Scotius Boslari of the Engineers Guild. They have a serious rat infestation problem in the Hypogeum. Patrons are complaining of rats climbing up drain pipes and scurrying through the stands, biting children and dogs. It's not a professional look for us. I'd like you to go thin the ranks a bit. Get some supplies at the tavern before you set off. Alrighty. Go kill rats. You know, I'm a gladiator in training, but my job is to kill a couple of rats. Well, let's go over to... 
the tavern, as they mentioned. Gattenhoff, tavern keeper. Not nice to meet you, Gattenhoff. I'm gonna call you David Hasselhoff, though, alright? You're gonna be the Hoff, baby. Um, so... My items, what do I have? Map parchment, a square of parchment used for mapping dungeon levels. It sounds really good. Buy that, too. Flint and kindling. You're going to need this if you plan on build camping underground. Build a fire and don't freeze to death. Wow, wait. Yo, I'm telling you, this game's a lot more in debt than I thought it would be. Sure, I'll buy, I don't know, maybe two of those. And I already have a couple of lockpicks. What about the shovel? Um, I could dig as well? Really? Bury treasure? Whew. Uh, yeah, let me just buy one. Okay, that, that's it for now. Exit the shop. Let's go to the dungeons and hypogeum. You have entered the hypogeum. Uh, during the construction of Eternal Coliseum, a large network of passages. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Select the starting level, find portal... Town portal stones to venture further. So right now we have access to level 1 through 5. Let's go for it. It is dark. You should light a torch. And this is the um, dungeon crawling roguelike part of the game, which is really, really cool. I, I love roguelike games. Roguelite or roguelike? Which one do you prefer? Roguelite or roguelike? People get really up in arms about stuff like that. It's not roguelite, it's roguelike! It's kind of like, yeah, you know, whatever, man. So, I'll light a torch and everything is lit up now. There is also apparently some sort of sacrifice signal down there, which is kind of terrifying. And there's a dude in red. Is that a bad guy? Were you sacrificing something before I got here? There's also a painting over here? Can I check this out? No? Okay. Oh! Survive a hit of 50 or more damage in one... Okay. So I'm gonna fight Hillary, the level 3 rogue. I'm just here to... This guy has a ton of armor, dude. I mean, he doesn't have too much HP, but a bunch of armor. Can I just leave? Flee? That's good. Yeah, I don't want to fight this guy. I'm here to kill rats. I don't think uh, I'm equipped for fighting this guy, considering I'm, like, wearing loin clots. Well, what the heck is this, though? Oh. Oh, this is bad. How do I get rid of, um... <laughs> How do I get rid of this? Monsters nearby. I know there's monsters nearby. But nobody say anything about vampirism. How is how does how do I remove this thing from existence? Should I go sleep? Okay, it's gone now. I'm getting my HP back. Okay, that was scary. That's a really start st uh, tough start. We have a really tough fight or vampirism. Choose your poison. Um you find 90 gold coin and a jade stone. I will definitely take that for free though. Alright. I see a chicken over there. That's a really angry looking chicken, dude. Alright, so I'm getting my HP back, thankfully. And I gotta fight the chicken, how about that? He's got 4 defense and 16... By the way, I lost all my defense by that vampirism thing, or... ...from the attack from the rogue. Either way, I'm not really too happy about that. Normal attack. Good damage. Apparently this guy tripped me, too. He's dead now. And... Nothing left over. Okay, so we're looking for rats, though. Oh, more treasure. More parchment. A runestone crux of poison. And some bones. I'm not sure what all these items do, but I guess I'll learn over time. You see a throne where you'll sit on it. Sure. Okay. I'm not sure what that did, but... Cool. You see a flaming cauldron. You can straighten the light in your torch if you wish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why not? Alrighty. Angry chicken. We must do combat again again. And you will die in two hits as always. Ah. I think I leveled up by killing that chicken, too. Um, I got an egg, got a feather, and another torch. I will definitely take all that. Yo, where are the rats at, though? Because, oh, that's a vampire. Or not a vampire, but a bat. I'm gonna fight the bat, huh? Alright. Normal attack. Thankfully, my normal attacks are really... They hit the mark, usually, and they do some pretty decent damage, so that's fine. Found some more coin, I will take that. There's no rats in this level at all, so we have to go probably down another level. Alright. Chicken man. Yeah, actually survived two hits. How about that? Well, at the same time, I'm getting a lot of loot, so that's fine. Now, I do believe time actually passes your underground, and I'm also getting tired, too. So, if you're down here when it's late, I think it becomes, like, really, really dangerous, so that's where you could camp and stuff like that. Level 2 underhauls. Where are these rats at, dude? Okay, that's an angry skeleton man there. Ratties? Okay, here we go. First rat. Two rats. Excellent. And that'll do it for him. 
Perfect. Rad number two. Dunsky. All right, so we've defe defeated two of three. Let me go ahead and relight my torch if I can. Perfect. Let's ignore this bat if we can, and have a good... All right, it's the third one. Yeah, buddy. All right, got this mission done. Now, I'm not sure how you guys feel about this, but I think that before we leave... Uh... <laughs> I don't know what this is, but I'm kind of worried to find out. Because here's my option. I either go find out what this is, or we fight the skeleton. I'd rather fight the skeleton. Yeah, let me fight the skeleton instead. I'm not sure what this is, and last time we stepped on something weird, I got vampirism, so, eh. You know, thus far, my luck isn't really too great. Yeah, let's go fight that skeleton. Alright, buddy. You might have, like, apparently an axe and a really cool-looking shield, but... I got a torch. How do you feel about that, huh? Alright, he's got 37 defense and 69 HP. That's a magical number right there, too, and... Not sure what that is, but that's kind of intriguing. Alrighty, let's start off with a normal attack. He seems very menacing, too. Drop 15 of his defenses, okay. So we gotta get the shield out of the way first, it seems. There. Oh, he blocked that one. Scumbag. Alright, he's down 2 HP only. So, normal attack. Oh, he blocked. Okay, 15 down. How about a quick attack? Block that one, too. He's tired. So am I pretty soon. Attack. Uh, we should probably get some more stamina back, too. That's fine. We got this fight in the bag. Let's do, let's do a power attack, maybe. Oh, we actually landed the power attack. Perfect. But he's out of stamina. I'm not. Use warfare skill. Mighty smash. Oh, that'll do it. So that's my two-handed attack. Which I guess probably increases my overall damage for a moment, which is cool. We killed him. Nothing was left over. I got 17 gold, but that's about it. I was hoping we gave his equipment or something. And I got that. So where do I dig? I'm, I'm curious about giving this a try. There's a boulder here. Relight this torch. That's about it. Well... Should we just dig by the skeleton? <gasps> I found a diamond! <laughs> Oh, cool. All right, so maybe anywhere you see a body, you could dig. Nothing here. You are getting closer to the art, to the artifact. Oh, well, I know, but you said I'm getting closer to the artifact, and I got kind of happy. I thought there was something really cool hidden there. You are far away. Oh, I, I'm, it's like it's hot or cold. Closer to the artifact. I found another diamond. Sweet. So I guess there's a chance that every time you use it, it'll probably break. But, um, you get to use it multiple times. That's actually not bad, and they're not really too expensive. And I got a couple of diamonds out of it, so I, I imagine that's gonna be pretty good for money. So let's go back now. And let's see if we could- Oh, no, no. I already fought you once. Can I go back home by using you? Use town portal stone. And that sends you back to the town. And I did level up down here, too. So five more HP and five essence, which is my stamina. Two stat points to give off. Um, I'm digging the chance to hit, so I'm gonna do one more of those, and then we will also do... Let's start working a bit on... Hmm, maybe more Magicka, so that once we are able to use some spells, we have enough MP for it. And... Let's continue upping my HP. I think that's a good idea. Thank you. I know. I feel fairly powerful, too. All right, buddy. I got the rat problem done. Scotius Boslati is anxious to know how you are coming along with those rats. All dead, in fact. Here they are. Quest complete. Yeah, buddy. All right. Put them somewhere else. I don't need to see rat corpses paraded in front of me like some conquering hero. I have another quest for you, Falcon 69. An ill wind has blown a stench through the Ludus. Many gladiators are falling sick and dying, and no regular cures seem to work. Stramanes, the alchemist, believes he can make a potion to cure them. They're not that obscure if you know where to look. I'm going to need you to go to the Hypogeum again and fetch these items. Kill a few critters, they'll surely drop what you need. So, we have another quest. This will be a medium difficulty. We have to get two Ectoplasm, two bad Guano. By the way, Guano is, um, you know, bad doo-doo, in case you were wondering. And Chicken Feather. Actually, we should have a couple of feathers already, shouldn't we? I wouldn't be surprised if we have a couple of those items already. But anyway, guys, we're out of time for this one here today. I hope you enjoyed it. This is the Swords and Sandals 5 Redux. If you want to see a bit more, do let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a thumbs up. And we can indeed do that. Otherwise, all the information will be down below in case you want to pick this up for yourself. I'm actually really enjoying the 
sim aspect of it, but also mixed in with a bit of dungeon crawling so you don't get too bored doing one thing or the other. So, thus far, pretty good. We also have a lot of money we have to go spend, so... If you wanted to see a bit more, do let me know. Otherwise, I will catch you next time.